Right, Harry, we're gonna we're gonna basically Oh no oh! no Oh no What were you doing? I don't know, we're fine, we're fine, we're fine, we're fine, we're fine. Hi guys, I'm Ed. I'm Harry. Welcome to Astroneer, what is basically being referred to as what no man's sky should have been. So I guess that's like a cross between an astronaut and a pioneer, which makes him an astroneer. Exactly, Harry. We've hit the nail on the head. This Let's Play has gone fucking well so far. Yeah. So we're going to launch in with any preference of choice. I uh, like the one on the far right, personally. I was going to say orange dude, but I mean, whatever. Oh, I guess we'll go for a compromise and go for the one in between. Which satisfies, satisfies no one. Exactly. <laughs> I know. So here we are, Harry. We've landed. We're we're ready. We're out. Oh, look at oh, look at the way he moves. So what should we call? Sweet. What should we call our new home planet? I have no idea. I'm never good at doing this. You name it. Bendemus Prime. Welcome to Bendemus Prime. Where? I, I don't want to know. It's I, here. I, it's very pretty. I mean, this simple visual. It's and lovely. Yeah, it's gorgeous. The soundtrack is gorgeous as well. So basically, in this game, you are uh, oh we're shit. Out of power. So you you land. You have this little terrain tool. Right. You need to basically gather material. It's very, very similar to No Man's Sky. However, the game, like the way it looks, is just is just way nicer. Yeah. What's going on, Harry? Are we digging a hole? I, I wasn't meaning to. <laughs> Resin. What are you doing, man? I, I'm trying to play the game. <laughs> Wait, extend. <gasps> Resin. Why do we want resin? Are we, Harry, are we, we did it. Are we making drugs? I, I don't know, but we extended our base. <laughs> Okay. I think that's a good thing. So basically, there's two little bars here on us. We've got this little one on the top, which right. is our oxygen level, right. which you'll notice is slowly starting to go down. Okay. Then we also have this. This is our power, which slowly regenerates, but it goes down pretty damn quickly. So basically, we're going to kind of wander around, try and see if we can find any... What are these? They're little creature type things. They're moving. I don't, I don't know. They are moving, but it won't, it won't tell me what they are. Oh, I gathered it. I gathered it. Why are you destroying the planet? Oxygen! We've got oxygen! Okay. That's oxygen? I like this already! <laughs> this is exactly the kind of thing I wanted to play in No Man's Sky. You start with a base, you move about, you yeah. have something that it ties you to. No Man's Sky kind of lacked all this, basically in that you had to just gather stuff for the sake of gathering stuff, so yeah. that you could upgrade your ship, so that you could fill space with more stuff to gather with. Did you ever play the um, the uh, upgrade to No Man's Sky? They did a, an update, The base they? building one? No, I've, I've actually never managed to get a chance to do it. If you guys would like to see us play it on the channel, let us know in the comment section below. We might revisit it, revisit Man's Sky, you never know. It seems too little too late to me, really, but I mean... I do agree, I do agree. See if there's anything we can build right now, Harry. There is not. What does this require? Solar. I assume a sun. Compound. <laughs> it requires compound, Harry. So we've got to go find us some compound. Any com any old compound or just any <laughs> old compound will do, mate. Righto. Okay. Well, I'll, uh, it's a specific. Sure. It's a <laughs> words. It's a specific material that we have to basically find. Okay. That's resin. We don't want resin. We want. Wait. Wait, Harry. What's that? I don't know, but let's find out. Power. power. Okay. I have the power. In my uh, extendable <laughs> Hoover thing. Yeah, I like this. This is sort of a simplification, you know, just sucking up power or oxygen. Aha! Uh look, compound. We found the material that we need to find, Harry. Alrighty. So compound is basically like one of the main resources in this game that you use to progress and upgrade your right. things, build stuff. So basically, you <laughs> notice our power goes down really quickly. We then you, have to wait for it to recharge. You get stuck, aren't you? Uh, yeah, but don't worry. <laughs> I can use this terrain melder to meld my way out of the terrain. Right. I don't we'll think... dig our way up, stupid. Exactly. <laughs> Oh god. You are actually now stuck. There's oh. so many of these oh, kind god. of games out there that I'm I'm wondering Oh no. Oh no. You've literally dug us into a hole and now we're gonna die. You've doomed us all, Templar! There we go, Harry! I'm out! Yeah! Lucky. Better find some oxygen. Gotta get, gotta get back, 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 gotta get back. <laughs> oh god, our oxygen! <laughs> Suffocating! <laughs> Come on! Okay, we're back, we're back. Okay. Breathe some of that sweet, sweet oxygen. Oh, look, and the sun's up, so we get, we can probably. Oh, wait. Ah! Saving game! It's that saving was, game? Does it save idea. the day? Hooray! <laughs> that was a good idea. Oh, right. I, okay, sorry. I got in my door, and that's how you save. Right, I don't okay. want to save. Right. But what I do want to do, Harry, is I want to make stuff. So I want to make a solar panel. No, wrong button. Fuck! Sorry, this game is new to me. Um, so we got one solar panel. Right, do it. We'd and probably, then we want uh, another one so we have more power. Are the, other <coughs> are the other astronauts going to come and play with us, or...? That's a good point. This is actually a multiplayer game. So you can't... Un oh. Unlike No Man's Sky, <laughs> yeah. 
you can basically actually do this with multiplayers, and that's something I would really like to do at some point. Because oh, I met the guys up on the uh, spaceship up there. Oh, I mean, them? Yeah. Oh, I don't know. Uh, maybe I doubt it. Maybe this. Maybe it's we have to do it I mean, because we be are a, the astroneer. There's got to be a point to colonizing the planet, really. I mean, is is. Well, I suppose you basically, but it's like any survival game. You just build and build and build and build until you feel satisfied. Right. Oh, God, look at all but these holes But you're never satisfied. No, you're right. Look at the art style. I think this is the first thing that gripped me about this game, was the music is so lovely, mm. and the the game just looks great. It feels good. It's fun. Oh, is that oxygen over there? I don't know. Blue stuff. That's oxygen. This? Is this Suck, oxygen? Looks like it. Suck that up. Fuel? Fuel? Big fuel balls? Okay, sure, why not? We've got it, Harry, we've got it. I should head back to the ship. Yeah, we need to oxygenize. <laughs> Oxygenate. Sorry. We need to breathe oxygen. That's, that's what we need to do. That's the pro... pro Neither of us can say words today. What's Sorry, it? yeah, it's been a it's been a long old first week back at work. Mm. Quickly now. Quickly now. <sighs> Bloody close. Damn, we good. Okay, right, so let's uh, let's try and put some shit up in here. Have we got resin? That's uh, not what I wanted. Resin. More tethers! Power. We want tethers. Now, what tethers do is it extends the range of the oxygen from your ship. Now, that's good. That's a good that's idea. That's very good. So, we're going to make two of them. I wonder how many we can actually make. We can only make two right now. How long can it go? I mean, is it a how really long How low can one? we go? Let's find out, mate. Now, how long can the tether go? How low can we go? I... <laughs> okay. <laughs> Okay, so not, how do I place this here? Not hugely long. I mean, that's enough. Wait, hang on. I need to get into the bit where the line is and then place it here. That's not the right button. How do I place it? T. <coughs> Got it. For tether. <coughs> You're right. He's me. Yeah, You're he's dying me. on this new planet? Apparently so. I need oxygen. <coughs> oh, oh my god, done. look how far we can go. I think I probably should have done I mean, this more strategically and done it towards some resources. Fuck. Or if you done like a loop, you could maybe extend the area you can explore. Ooh, Harry, that's a clever idea. Full of them, mate. <laughs> Full of something. <laughs> oh, you. <laughs> See, I know that the idea of raft terrifies you, because it is, you know, in the middle of the ocean, and that's scary. Are you to asking me, if this... Imagine yeah. this. Imagine you're the only astronaut left in the world on a planet in on your own. World. You're Matt Damon in Interstellar. You would get lonely. You would go mad. You would try and kill Matthew McConaughey. That's what happens, you know. D don't get me started on that crap <laughs> plot point. I never understood that. It's like, but you're his only chance to get home. Why would you... Well, I guess they don't want to go home, do they? Uh, okay. Oh, well, Matt, actually, Matt, actually, yeah, because Matthew McConaughey does want to go home. Exactly. So, that's... Yeah. Hold on. Hold on a second. Something's not quite right here. <laughs> Look at that. Oxygen. Look at this tether. This is so clever. Right. It gives you little things that you oh, know God. you need to make. That's... A big gap down there. Don't fall down there. D don't fall down. That's fine. We can. Oh, Harry. <laughs> oxygen. Harry. That? Yeah, that you're right. That is oxygen, Harry. Well spotted. Because it floats up and gets stuck on. That's yeah. Oh shit. Oh. Oh no. Oh Harry, where are we? We're gonna die down here, aren't we? What are those things? Uh, I think we just died, Harry. I think we did. We died. It's all right. We respawned. Oh, you respawn. Just, like just like a real astronaut would do. I'm a big fan of these kind of games where. It's kind of minimal art. It's that polygon mm. kind of thing. A lot of VR games have been doing it because yeah. it's easier to render out, and I, I quite like the style it gives. Mm. It's minimal and it has a charm to it that, frankly, a lot of other games simply don't have. It reminds me of a Journey, which to me is like the pinnacle of that kind of game. I actually tweeted Austin Wintry last night, and uh, I we, saw we were discussing whether he'd be coming to the UK to serenade us with his wonderful scores. And I, I used the term, when will the UK be blessed by your lovely scores? And he said, blessed? I think you mean cursed. <laughs> He's very humble. He's very humble. As I remember when we first started doing GameHog, we made that top five list of like top five game scores. Yeah. And picked Journey as number one and we tweeted him and he responded straight away. I was like, oh, thank you so much. I'm honoured. I was like, oh. It's like, so we're so nothing. Really but really that was nice of you to, yeah. you know, nice of you to acknowledge us. And that was sweet. Humorous. Back in the days of our top five and top ten lists. We did <laughs> used to do top five and top ten lists quite a lot. If you guys want to see those come back, let us know. Yeah, I mean, did you enjoy them? I mean, some were more popular than others. I was... did enjoy doing them. The problem is, is that they consume a whole day of filming and editing yeah. to do. Because like, uh, we do this in our spare time after work, so it's like... Yeah, exactly. <clears throat> right, Harry, we've, uh, we may have just... Look reached... at all your stuff! you got everything! We do. We really do. I'm going to make another tether. Can you make a tether down into that cave you were in? Probably. Should I do that? Should we do that for this episode? I think so. Make a subterranean tether? Yeah. Right, what have I done with... You need some oxygen, but, man. What have I done with... 
that hole. It's back by the tent, oh isn't it? <laughs> Where is our spaceship? Oh god. Oh god, we're lost. We're lost on a planet. We don't know where we are. There it is. There, thank god. Oh god, that was. That, I got really nervous. Yeah, he's gonna say like. I wish there was slightly lower gravity. Just not not for any you know not to make the game better, but just it would feel more alien. Mm, what do you mean, like you're floating? Right yes, there. exactly. Okay. Yeah. Right. Okay, Harry. Here we like, go. Like the film Gravity. <clears throat> don't be ridiculous. Did you like that film? I I, I did. I, I look. The story was not that impressive. Sure. But it was an incredible feat of technology. I mean, all of that was made in a computer. Like all that was made, or sorry, all that was filmed rather, was just like Sandra Bullock's face. You know, she was in a ring, and it was just it, to me that is an incredible achievement. And I did enjoy the film a lot. You know, as did you? To me, it was a good emotional climax. The music was sublime. The music was, in long, fairness, incredible. And the long takes, you know, good example of filmmaking. I know people say it was overrated. I don't care. I enjoyed it. Speaking of good examples of film rating, a lot of uh, filmmaking, <laughs> a lot of people really didn't like our review of Assassin's Creed. Well, they can suck it. People seem to mistake the idea of watchability with good content. Well, again, what bugs me, it's like, when someone, obviously it's their favourite film franchise, they just, they seem to feel the need to defend it to the death, and it's like they can't understand not everyone's going to like it. But even if, even if I'm not, so someone commented on our thing saying, uh, you only had one valid point and I don't think you guys have played the games. And it's like, well, firstly, I have played the games. Secondly, you <clears throat> shouldn't have had to have played the games for a get for a storyline. Exactly. That's the whole bloody point of it is it's a film. It's supposed to be accessible to those that haven't played the game. That was exactly what I said to him. They shouldn't have to know what the fucking apple was that glowed magic. I don't. Don't. don't We're don't, not going back to that. Watch that review. Don't. Don't. Right, Harry, we're gonna, we're gonna basically- Oh no, oh, no! Oh no! What were you doing? I don't know, we're fine, we're fine, we're fine, we're fine, we're fine. Can you tether down here? We got Malachite! What's that? It's a, well, I know it's an ore in uh, Skyrim. And it's the name of the little companion that Bender finds in that future armor episode. Really? Yes. <laughs> Hang on, I'm gonna make some more tethers. <laughs> that was an obscure reference. That was quite an obscure reference, you're right. We need to basically find aluminium, uh, aluminium, lithium, and copper. It's suddenly gotten very dark. Are, are we? Uh, I don't know. I'm, I'm also, worried. I'm running out of oxygen. Yeah. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh shit, Harry. What am I doing? We didn't think this through, did we? No, we didn't. Oxygen up there. Where? Oh shit. Yeah, of course. Grab this malachite. Wow, Harry. Look, we've like discovered it. a really cool subterranean kind of area. Please don't jump down there. We will die. Whoa. Whoa. Looks like a plumbus. It does look like a plumbus. <laughs> oh, we died. What How did we, we what die? Did we die How did we die? Was the plumbus poisonous? Uh, maybe. <laughs> hey, what's this? <gasps> what is that? It's some kind of structure, Harry. Maybe we should explore that in the next episode. Maybe you're right. Hope you guys have enjoyed this kind of brief introduction into the world of Astroneer. I'm really, really liking this game so mm. far. I love its charm. I'd love to play more of it if you guys would like to see it, because it's basically Yes Man's Sky, isn't mm. it? It's good. So if you guys would like... <laughs> Sorry. See what I fucking did there? <laughs> I'm not skating over that. What was that? Uh, I don't know. But anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching, and we'll see you in the next episode. See you then, guys. Bye, Bye Zs. Zs.